welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be here with you on Thursday doing this super fun collective haul. I have items for you from Target, Ross, and TJ Maxx slash Home Goods. Home Goods, really, because it's all like decor items. So this has a very strong Halloween theme and it's really, really centered around ghosts. So if you're loving the ghosts that are on trend this year, you're going to definitely love this haul because I am and I am doing a ghost coffee bar, which is all new to me because that's not what I've been doing the past couple years. I want to keep it in the black and white family and I want to do it all ghosts. So I had to go shopping and pick up some stuff. And that is what I'm going to be sharing with you today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Oh, and don't forget the bell button because then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. All right, guys. Let's get started in this haul because I am super, super excited about all of my Halloween, a couple fall type finds. So first of all, in my thumbnail, I had this guy. I found this at Ross. It was only $5.99 and it's just a really cute, I don't know, little candy tray. You can put like, you know, several different pieces of candy in there. Um, it's by Jack-O-Lantern Lane. It says hand wash only. It's not microwave or oven safe. So that's like the brand on it. It shows that it was $5.99 at Ross. I will say Ross was kind of a bust when I went there. They didn't have a ton of stuff for me, but this I thought was a score. I was really excited to find it. And then also from Ross, I found this. This is not in the same theme. It is Coca-Cola chapsticks. This is going to be for Lorelai for Christmas. I'm going to start Christmas shopping as I see things that I know that they would like. She's pretty obsessed with Coca-Cola right now. Like that's her favorite soda pop whenever she's allowed to have soda. This was only $2.99 and you get three chapsticks and the cute little Coca-Cola tin. So it looks like this on the back. So you could take the top off and, and close it up and it's a cute little tin. That is Coca-Cola. It says it's lip smackers. You get a Coca-Cola flavor, cherry Coke, and strawberry F Fanta is the flavors of the chapstick in there. I think she's gonna love it. So I'm gonna set that aside. I'm starting like a whole set aside for Christmas for all the kids because it is fastly approaching. And then lastly from Ross was um, a couple syrups for my coffee bar. This, I would never have picked up such a big one, but it's the only one they had that was this flavor. So this is just the pumpkin spice flavor, which I wanted, and it's by the Jordan's Skinny Syrups. So it's zero calories and zero sugar in here. You can use this to make coffee, lattes, protein shakes, cappuccinos, yogurt and oatmeal, or dessert drinks. I can also use it to make a, a pumpkin spice ice cream and my Ninja Creamy, which I will probably try out. It's good until June of next year. I wish it went a little longer because um, I don't know if I, I love pumpkin spice and I'm a basic bitch, but I don't know if I can use this entire jug in one season. Um, but it was $7.99, which is a really good deal. It doesn't say comparable, but I mean, when I think about going just to go buy a pumpkin spice latte, it costs a lot more. So I got this because I wanted that flavor of syrup. And then from the Jordan's Skinny Syrups, I also picked up the chai flavor. I don't know how this is, but I do like a dirty chai. So that's when you get a chai tea latte and you add in a shot of espresso. And so I'm wondering if I can just do it opposite here at home because I have an espresso that I can make the like espressos and some milk, like a latte, and then add this in it. It says you can make a cappuccino, a latte, or a tea, and you add in this flavor without any of the sugar or calories. This one, because it's a smaller bottle, was only $3.99. So I'm curious, hopefully it's good. I also know I could just really buy just chai tea, which if this is gross, that's what I'll end up doing. But um, this is good until March of 2025. So this one has a longer shelf life on it. And that's all I found at Ross. Ross was kind of, it was lackluster, the one I went to anyway. And so that was all I found. Same with Target. Target, so far I've gone to two different Targets and our Halloween section is like next to nothing still. They have, they started, there's candy and stuff, but like all the fun decor is not out yet. I went shopping on Sunday and Monday were the days I went shopping. So. Now it's Thursday, maybe the stuff is out. I need to go back and check again. 
but there was hardly next to nothing. But so one thing I picked up was this. This is from Hide and Eek, their Halloween brand, and it is a Raven. It was $5. I am going to use this for our, my trunk or treat because um, it's going to be the Wednesday themed trunk or treat, and it's very the Raven and Nevermore kind of based. I want to do a sign that says Nevermore um, as you're kind of walking up to the trunk. And so I figured I would put a raven like hanging, not hanging, but like setting up next to the sign is what I'm going to use this for. Sally, if you want this after Halloween, after I'm done with it, I am willing to send it to you because I know, I know. So, but I did want to use this for uh, my trunk or treat. I just thought that that would kind of really add in to the the entryway for it. And then the other thing I picked up at Target, again, these were only two items from Target, because very lackluster. This came from the dollar spot, but there wasn't much even in the dollar spot in terms of Halloween, but this mug was too cute to pass up. So um, it was only $3, which a lot of their mugs are five. It is a nice big coffee mug, and it's not gonna go on my coffee bar, but it's gonna go up above it with my mugs to use for the the month of October because it is so cute. I don't know what my decor is going to be next year for my coffee bar. I'll probably stick with the black and white and ghosts. I try to usually do at least two years and add to it, but this is going to be too cute to drink my lattes out of. My pumpkin spice lattes that I have to drink a whole lot of to get through this. So picked this guy up because he was just so darn cute. So cute. And then TJ Maxx slash Home Goods. My store is both so you can um, just walk through, it has a walk through on the front and the back end. So you can go to both stores at once. I don't know if they're all like that, but all the ones I go to are. But up at the front, I did take my own bags, but they have this bag up front for 99 cents. So I had to buy it. So you'll, you should see it again throughout the um, Halloween season because I love this bag and it was only 99 cents. I do, what I don't like the most about their bags is they do brand them on the sides, but the ghosts were super cute. All right, so at there's not a ton of items in here, but my bill was like 70-ish dollars. My husband spoiled me, he went with me, and anytime I kind of like like something, but I was like, I feel like it just costs too much, which I do a lot of, he was like, do you like it? I'm like, well, obviously, and so he's like, put it in the cart. So he spoiled me at this go round. But what I did pick up was another syrup. We went to TJ Maxx first and I went to Ross after and I didn't find any other good syrup at TJ Maxx, but I did pick up the s'mores flavor and I thought maybe I could try like making a s'mores ice cream for the kiddos out of the Ninja Creamy and use this. This one was also $3.99. It's the Tarani instead of the Skinny Girl. So the Skinny Girl, you get 25 ounces for the $3.99 at Ross and the Tarani is 12 ounces for $3.99. So, I mean, not the best deal, but... Um, I think that this would be cute, not cute, this isn't cute, but it would be good in hot chocolate, like a s'mores hot chocolate, or try to make a s'mores ice cream for the kids, and I'm going to try it in my coffee too, just for fun, for something different. Um, these napkins were darling. This is one of the things that I have a hard time picking up napkins, especially for high prices, and I feel like $4.99 for a set of napkins is a little pricey. Um, you get 40 of them in here, but... I'm gonna put these on my coffee bar because they're so darn cute, the little ghost napkins. So they're from C.R. Gibson by Design. I don't know really who that is, but that's what the tag looks like. It was $4.99 right there. But oh my gosh, they're so cute. So had to have them. Well, my husband said I had to have them. He put them in the cart for me. They also had these. They are little ghost bowls. It's Halloween set of four ghost figural bowls, 100% the Malamine, Malamine, and they were $9.99, and that's why I was like, $9.99, four bowls, but they are super, super cute. They probably will match really nice with the little plates I got at Target, and I'm going to put them out either on my kitchen table or at least one on the coffee bar, put, you know, something in it, and then I can use them to eat things out of you know, throughout the, the October because they're super cute. So got these cute little ghost bowls. Um, for spa, Lorelei's spa birthday, we used under eye patches and my best friend 
loved them. She was like, these are amazing. And so I thought how fun would it be to give to her this little set. So they are pumpkin infused under eye pads by Body Prescriptions. You get in here eight of them and they were only $3.99 for eight little under eye pads, which is a good deal because you only get one pair usually at Dollar Tree for $1.25. And so it's $5 then for four pairs, and this you get eight pairs for $4. So really good deal. It is pumpkin and vitamin C infused. It reduces puffiness for a rejuvenated look, it says. And super cute little Halloween packaging. And then they're just kind of like a nude color. So she could put them on whenever, you know, she is crafting or working. She loved them. She loved the, the whole under eye shabam. And so I wanted to give her a little gift of those because she enjoyed it so much all right everything else is all wrapped up because they were marvelous to me and it's all glass stuff so what do we have here it's like opening presents when you get to get into your stuff all right this one is a cute hand soap oh my gosh so it looks like this it's a little jack lantern. I'm gonna put it next to my kitchen sink. Um, it's a glass bottle, not plastic. It was only five dollars and fifty cents, which when I compare to the price of soap at Dollar Tree, I know. But um, it's in a glass jar, and the smell is like the right kind of pumpkin. So it is sugar pumpkin pie. So some pumpkins are way too cinnamony for me, and this is like the right like sweet pumpkin smell not the like cinnamon spice pumpkin smell and this is the kind that I like a lot so I picked this guy up he's gonna go next to the kitchen sink you get a lot in here it's heavy well it's also glass it's 16.9 fluid ounces of the hand soap and so I got that how cute is that so I was looking at the ones at Dollar Tree because I know that they have like out a bunch of the um like pumpkin and and spices and stuff but this I love the smell and I love the container so this is what we got super excited about that and it looks like you could take the face off if you want it's just like a plastic outline on top and so if you really just wanted like that orange pumpkin you could just have that as your thing too or you could just turn it around and then you have you know this during Halloween just kind of turn it around and set it out on this side for the rest of the season and then you're good and you have it for the whole pumpkin spice season all right next item a lot of my stuff in here is wrapped up because like i said they were marvelous this guy oh my gosh so this is adorable it's a little candle that is a um candy corn um i do do a candy corn little theme out in this room in the living room Ooh, how cute it would be to do a candy corn tree so far i just have flowers on it because i'm like in this in-between time of birthday parties before I do for Halloween so I just put florals in it I'll probably just print off a bunch of Mr. Beast things and decorate it for Mr. Beast before I do Halloween but with that look how cute this little candy corn candle is or light up thing it needs batteries looks like they're two double A's which I was not expecting because they just go in like that I thought it was going to be some of the little teeny batteries or trip no they're double A's before I can test it out but it has a little yellow glow candle in there and this was $5.99 for this guy and he sits like kind of catawonky like that oh my gosh how cute is that so that's going to go in my living room with my candy corn kind of setup. all right all right for the big guy here's the big guy that I got he kind of looks like a um Hershey's Kiss ghost but he is a ghost like candy dish or treat dish and says boo in there. <gasps> How cute is he? So I'm probably going to get like, I was, my brain told me like little, um, wrapped like Rice Krispies treats or something. I'm going to try to find something in some cute Halloween packaging to stick in here for little treats and put it on my coffee bar. He was $12.99. You can see the color and I can't tell who makes them because it's all covered it says do not microwave hand wash only whimsical something is who makes him without sitting there and picking it off but how cute is that boo in there and the fact that it's like a little treat holder so got this guy his little top does remind me like kind of, of a Hershey's kiss but super cute I was really excited about that so 
set them down carefully. All right, we are getting close to being done already because it wasn't a huge haul. It's just kind of what I found. Two more things in here, but they're wrapped, so it's like, like super fun. It's like Christmas. Oh, yes, this one. So my last two items are going to be Ray Dawn items. But first was this one. Oh, it's another little treat container. It's Ray Dawn. I'm not like... I guess I'm starting to like Ray Dunn more for like some of the holiday stuff. I'm not like an all day daily Ray Dunn lover of things, but some of her holiday stuff is so cute. So this was um, up at the front. We were waiting in the checkout line and we came across this and my husband tossed it in the cart for me because he knew that I would want it. It was $9.99. It says boo. And then it has like the suction and just like a little treat jar. So I'll fill it with some sort of cute little treats for the month. And then you put the lid on and oh my gosh, it's so cute. I don't know if it has, like it's a nice seal on there, but isn't that so cute? So love that. These little ghosts remind me of the Pac-Man ghosts more than anything, but got that for the coffee bar. And then lastly, this was one of the main reasons I went was to look for a mug because I wanted a Ray Dawn mug to go with my ghost mug. I got the ghost mug from Target already that I had already hauled previously in my collective haul, but I wanted the cute little Ray Dawn one to go with it. And so it says boo with the three little ghosts underneath. It's just solid black all the way through. I love the Ray Dawn mugs. It was, um, Celeste sent me a mug. It says you're on my to-do list. My favorite mug, it's in the dishwasher because I use it all the time. And, um, I have discovered that the size and the way that you hold them, like they're just the perfect coffee mug for the coffee I make. This one was $5.99. Yeah, it's on there, I promise. And it's Ray Dunn. The black just really messes with the lighting and stuff. There we go. Um, Ray Dunn at the bottom. It's cute. It matches this just a little too perfectly, obviously, because they both say boo. How cute. So, like I said, I'm not like a huge Ray Dunn, but um, for some of her holiday stuff for the coffee bar, it's always, it keeps being perfect. So, I got this. Guys, that is everything today in my collective haul. Yep, that's it. I'm just full of paper now. I am so excited that you are here sharing this with me. If you haven't already, you should go back to my Dollar Tree haul from yesterday. I do have a giveaway going on over there. Um, all the rules and everything is stated in that video so you want to head over there if i remember i'll add in a picture right here of what is for the giveaway so you can go back over and enter on that video you can't enter on this video but you should head over there and turn to my giveaway and come back on saturday because on saturday i will have another dollar tree haul with some more halloween finds and things that i'm really excited to share with you so thank you so so much for being here i appreciate each and every one of you so much like I don't even have the right words to say, but I appreciate you all so, so much. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also hit the bell button, then you're notified, the like button, the comments, all the things. Um, if you're loving the ghosts as much as I am this season, drop me down a comment with a little ghost emoji or let me know that you're loving the ghosts. Or if you're not, I have gotten some comments of people who don't celebrate Halloween, I completely understand. But um, for me, this whole ghost trend this year i am loving so my whole coffee bar is gonna be black and white and ghosts and i'm really excited about it so um thank you guys so so much i can't wait until i see you on saturday bye guys